Hey everybody, how's it going? <laughs> and I uh, did some sprucing up around the place, so uh, I hope you like my new studio. Um, happy, happy, happy holidays. Um, we are almost through 2020. Thank goodness. And we have a new administration coming in, which is also uh, I, something I'm very thankful for. And we have vaccines shipping. So um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, uh, thank everybody who's been um, um, taking care of themselves and taking care of their neighbors and their families. And there is light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to spring. And wouldn't you know, tonight it would be freezing rain and sleet and cold and nasty. So I hope you found someplace warm to be in some, <laughs> um, and you're safe and um, you have time. And thank you for spending some time with me this evening. I really appreciate it. Um, so this evening, um, I'm going to, I started something in my last show that um, people really enjoyed and I enjoyed as well, so we're going to do that again. So before we jump into some art, we're going to take a few minutes to settle and relax and like clear your heads of all the other stuff going on in the world so we can be present and spend some time virtually together. So, um sit down get some place uh, safe and 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 uh, where you're supported and you can be you know present for a few minutes so <laughs> Exhale deeply. And again, if you're still, uh, please uh, sit down where you can do some, some deep breathing. If you feel lightheaded at any time, stop and breathe normally. A deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Deep breath in. How was that for everybody? <laughs> I, I love doing that. It, it helps me center and relax and now I can focus on what I, we're going to do next. So actually, I'm going to check my notes to make sure I know what I'm doing next. Um, okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to start with um, a greeting cards I did and recently I started doing sets of 10 uh, greeting cards that look like these. Um, and you'll get this, this set, these coming up are a set of 10. So you'll have the same image on the front. They're blank inside and they have, you know, my info in the back. Um, and they, uh, and they're all numbered. Oh, so let me tell you the way this works. So if you see something that you want, um, uh, there's an item number associated with it. And you but just put the item number and sold in the comments. And I'll follow up with you and uh, we'll make shipping and, and payment arrangements. So if you see something you like, everything has an item number, item number sold. And um, I'm going to do the holiday greeting cards last. Um, but if you want holiday greeting cards and you've seen them before and, you, and you've just been waiting for me to do the, my Christmas show, 
<laughs> uh, you, don't have to wait. you don't have to wait around. I'd love to have you stay, but if, you, if your time is short, the item number for the Holiday Green Cart set, and that's a variety set. I'll, I'll show you that real quick while we're here. The Holiday Green Cart set is the only set that is a variety set. So it's a set of um, different Chris, uh, holiday cards. And actually, three of them say holiday. The other ones um, are just really winter-themed uh pictures that you could use for anything and they're blank inside so you can use them for other um, occasions as well so with covid and everybody's been away um uh you know taking the time to write a personal note to somebody would be greatly appreciated uh, by by um, your loved ones and and co-workers and friends so think about that while you're finishing up your holiday shopping and and need some um, um cost-effective gifts um, so, uh, so I, I have, I did a few, um, uh, <laughs> videos to, to show you a little bit more about the, uh, the greeting card sets that I'm about to show you. So let's enjoy them. Hello and welcome to this behind the scenes look at Marvin Bowser photography. We create our greeting card sets by mounting actual photographs onto 5x7 greeting card stock. The interiors are blank so they can be used for any occasion. Visit us on the web at marvinbowser.photography. Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. And the, the roses card that I showed in those videos have been very popular. So uh, people like them. That's cool. So, okay, this is the first slide. Um, this, uh, I call this image, um, I see Africa. And it's actually a, a uh, new moon um, from April. Uh, uh, what do they call it? It's not the harvest moon. I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on what the, the, the right term, uh, uh, term is. Um, but it's, it's, um, it's, it's an unusually uh, full moon that's close to the Earth and all that. And these, are, these clouds, and this, I took this picture like in, from my backyard, actually. You just looked up and it's just this beautiful sky. So it's item number one, but I, the title is wrong. Uh, the correct title for this one is I See Africa. Item number one, $25 delivered. Item number two, Black Boy Joy. And this is our nephew that we took um, from the, the moon pool at the villa we rented in, in down in, near Cancun last summer, summer before last, you know, before COVID. <laughs> um, and it, the pool was amazing. It was like eight feet deep that, la that was built beside the house. And it had two big windows in the basement where you could see swimmers in the pool. So that was fun. So item number two, Black Boy Joy. $25. Item number three, the bouquet. I did behind the scenes photography for a film that shot um, in like it's December, January, a year ago um, here in Washington, DC. And the set designers did amazing work. So this is one of the, one of their pieces that in this mansion that we rented for um, a bunch of the scenes where it happened in this mansion um, up near the vice president's residence. Uh, it's going to be the home of Senator, uh, I'm sorry, Vice President Elect Kamala Harris. So we're excited about that. Item number three, the bouquet. Item number four, Caroline's Sunflower. 
and Caroline is one of my neighbors, uh, two doors down, and they built, they, they, they planted these amazing sunflowers, some in their front yard, but this giant guy was in the backyard, and I had to get on a 10-foot ladder to take this picture, and I, um, I, it's, it, you can tell by the, the lighting is so cool, I, it was at dawn, and I had to wait. I waited on top of that ladder until the, until the sun cleared their house and and, the, and illuminated that sunflower. So it, it was very cool and worth the wait. It's a beautiful picture. Um, item number four: Caroline's sunflower. Ten card set. Hey Mike Gates, thanks for joining. Item number five is John's wagon. And John is another neighbor. He lives across the street. He's a he's a like I'd call him a master gardener. He um he's a very uh inquisitive person and he'll see plants and he travels to visit gardens. You know, he'll see a plant that's interesting to him, he'll do the research, he'll figure out if it can live in this in this um uh climate. And get some. So he's always working in his yard. He's always changing things around. He always has something new. And all year, there's something blooming in the garden. Um, so it's always always interesting. And he's well known in the neighborhood. So when people walk their kids, walk their dogs, or just walk, they they always route past John's yard so they can look over his white picket fence to see what's going on. So item number five, John's garden. Item number six, Lost in the Woods. So I took this one in the early fall in a park not near, not far from my house, and it's one of the Fort, um, Fort Circle parks that are you know around the city, and a lot of them are here in Southeast. And it's you know it's just really beautiful and really cool that how wild. You know the parks are here in the city, and we're so lucky to have them have them here. So you can just go go wandering and and again refresh, you know, recreate um, in in the woods. And the uh, you know the lighting and the colors are just just really nice. And then you stumble upon this little bridge. Um, it just adds a feature to the landscape that that was interesting, and you get some perspective from the shot. Item item number six. Lost in the Woods. Item number seven, Lotus in Black and White. Um, I have some, and I'll, I'll have some more Lotus pictures um, later that are in full color, so you'll have a chance to see what they look like in full color. But the, the, the structure and texture and the lighting in this picture is so so interesting that it's, I, I think it's just, I, I, I like stunning, actually, um, and they, these flowers are, you know, they grow three, they grow from like three to five feet from the water, and they're about the size of a volleyball, they're huge, you know, they're big, and they're stunning, and they're so, so beautiful, so, um, um, that, that's cool, uh, so Todd Jones, thanks for the question, all, all of the cards are five by seven, all, all of the cards are five by seven, and thank you for your question. So that's item number seven, Lotus in Black and White. It's a set of 10 cards, and they sell for $25. All, all of these card sets sell for $25. Delivered. Red Roses, Red Roses, Red Roses. The, the Red Roses have been very popular as well. Um, and um, I got into doing cards uh, because of my friends, uh, Stacy and Christy Lee down at Lee's Flowers, and I took this picture at Lee's Flowers. It was like because I, I mean it's a flower shop; they have all these all these cool flowers. So um, I was down visiting, and I and I always take my camera when I go down to see what I see because they usually have something cool. But the uh, the flowers and, the, and when they print it, they're very it's it's a lovely card. It's a very lovely card. Um, so uh, we uh, yeah. So if you like if you like roses or even just the, the texture of them, 
Um, that's a, that's a good good choice for you. Or if you know some, you know, you know somebody who likes roses. Uh, item number eight: red roses. Ten card set. Item number nine, Sunset over Botswana. Uh, me and Mike went to Africa in 2017. We visited uh, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Namibia, and South Africa. Um, and we did the game drive. And um, thanks, Sharon. Appreciate it. We did a game drive, and, um, and we were, the game drive was in Botswana, but we actually stayed across the Chobe River in Namibia. And we we crossed uh, twice a day, um, going going back and forth. And then the Chobe River was at flood stage here, so the, those grasses sticking up from the water normally would have been like um, meadow along the river. Um, and then, so we do the game drive all day, and then we come back in the evening, have dinner, and then we go out on on the boat um, to see the animals come down to the water after the sun goes, when the sun starts to go down, they, they come down the water because it's, it's cooler then. So we get to see them, you know, you know, out in the open down by the water's edge. It's very cool. But, and the sun, the sun sets were spectacular every evening. Item number nine, sunset over Botswana. And item number 10, white orchids. The full name of this is actually white orchids in a bowl because they are white orchids in a bowl. <laughs> um, I took that picture at the uh, U.S. Botanical Gardens on Capitol Hill, right at the foot of the hill from the U.S. Capitol building. And it, it's one of my secret spots in D.C. Um, to, to get away. When I was in college, I used to uh, do research at the... the um, Library of Congress, and when I was waiting for them to pull the books that I selected, I'd go, I'd go down uh, to the U.S. Botanical Gardens and wander around. Um, so it's, you know, I've been using it since I was 18, you know, so a couple of years. Uh, so, uh, and again, the, the lighting in this is, is very cool, where the, the natural light backlights the, the, image, the uh, flower petals. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Item number 10, white orchids. Okay, so thanks. Um, if you have any questions, um, um, please put them in the chat and I'll, I'll try, try to grab them as I go, but I do check them every now and then. Um, so again, those, those cards and the holiday cards, all of my cards are five by sevens. Um, and actually, all the sets sell for $25, including delivery. So the, the pricing is pretty straightforward and easy. Um, okay, so now I'm about to transition into um, the matted photographs. So what's a matted photograph? Rather, rather than just, oh, let's see if I can do that where it shows up. Uh, rather than just... Um, you know, send you a, a, a photograph, like actual, just a picture in a, in a plastic film. I, I've mounted them for you. Um, and, the, and mounted, they all measure 11 by 14. And you can easily find 11 by 14 um, frames commercially. Um, you know, and they're, and they're really reasonable. You know, I, you know, one of the big, big box discount stores or Amazon ha have them. And pretty cool, and pretty cool selections of them. And you can get, and I have some here. You know, so this is very clean, very simple, and it's elegant in its simplicity. And and this is this frame is actually it's glass in front and it's just a plastic thing in the back. But you know, on your wall, it's, it'd be uh, pretty nice. Or it'd be again. This is this is the stocking stuffer edition, so it would be a nice stocking stuffer. Um, but you get again a, a beautiful image for a reasonable reasonable price, and you could get do something with this and and do a series of them, you know, in a hallway or in a room. Um, rather than one big image, you could do a series, and you'll see from the ones I've selected that um, you know. Some, some of them would pair very nicely 
Um, and here's a, another one. Oh, this, the, the, the green screen is doing crazy things with these. So they're not transparent. <laughs> but, um, and if you could, and you could tell, you know, the reason I, I, I present the images the way I do um, is be, so you can actually get a really nice picture of what the image looks like. So this is a little tough. So, um, but you get the idea of what you can do with um, a commercially available frame. Um, I also uh, frame these these pieces, and obviously you can take them to your, your favorite framer as well. So, um, the the matte prints, um, they are excluding the frame. Well, so let me do it this way. So the matte prints, wow. You know, you know what the problem is? I'm using a green screen, so it makes green transparent. So flower pictures will not work. <laughs> so I will stop trying to make flower pictures work. Um, but uh, so the excluding the frame, the matted photographs are forty dollars each, or two for fifty dollars delivered. Okay, forty dollars a piece, or two for fifty dollars delivered. Okay. Press it. Okay. So again, the matted photographs. Forty dollars or two for fifty, um, and so if you want the the two, so you know, just tell me the numbers as, as they come up, or you can give give me both of them together. Um, if you see that somebody uh, else bid on something that that you wanted, just just give me the number anyway, and we'll we'll work something out. So don't don't worry about it if somebody else got something that you liked. Uh, we'll we'll work something out. Okay, so here we go. This is, this is actually one of my favorite pictures. So, and somebody, this is a, a dragonfly sitting on a lotus bud. And um, somebody asked me once, well, how long did it take you to take that picture? And it's like, it took me a second or two to take the picture because, you know, dragonflies don't, don't sit around and pose. Like, you, you got to get them, you got to get them when the getting's good. Um, but, it, but, it looked like he is like there, just just hanging out for that picture. That he, he really does, um, but uh, no, it, I, I did it pretty quickly. Um, and so this is the dragonfly on the lotus bud, and then I took this picture at Kenilworth Gardens, like right right off of two ninety five, not not far from here. And um, he's forty dollars um, delivered, or if you get a partner, it's fifty dollars for the two of them. That's item number 11. Item number 12, uh, Bees World. Bees World. And this is all, I took this also at, um, at uh, Kenilworth Aquatic Gardens. And it was just cool to catch that guy in flight. And I, I hope you can see it on the video, but you can, you can see the flutter of his, his wings as he's going into that, I think it's a clover flower. Some sort of clover as he goes in to get get nectar. Um, yeah, you know, and it it was a hot hot sunny day, so a lot different from today when, when I took that picture. And you can see how strong the sun was too. Bees World item number twelve. And again, in the as matted, all of these are eleven by fourteen. So remember the black and white lotus? Well, this is this is a color picture of a lotus with the, the leaves like wide, wide open. Actually, this one is starting to fade. So you can see some of the, the um, what do you call them, stamen inside under the, the center center of the plant. They're starting to come down. And then you can see the pollen like on the on the inner um, center of the, of the bloom. That, that yellow on there, that's all the pollen already come off. Um, and so the, the life cycle of these things is also very interesting. Um, so they, they go from those buds that you just, just saw with the dragonfly, and that's fully open. And eventually all of the, the, the um, petals, that's the word, petals, will come off. 
and you'll just have that centerpiece which contains the seeds and it'll dry out and turn dark and until it opens and lets the seeds out. It's cool. Item number 13, Open Lotus. Item number 14, Left Lotus, because it's on the left side of the screen. Um, so th in this image, you see the, flou the flower as well as the, the big leaves that, that, um, that are also there. And the, the leaves are cool. They, they kind of remind me of elephant ears. And, um, and oddly, they, they uh, repel um, water. So like you'll, they co like collect water and funnel it toward the plant. But the and so the water doesn't like stick to the leaf. It just it like um, beads up and rolls down. Kind of kind of cool. Uh, left the lotus. Item number fourteen. Uh, worship the sun. So, oh, this is another cool thing about the the lotuses. They the they um, follow the sun. Like the sun comes up in the morning, they kind of follow the sun through through the arc. So that guy is. Point it toward the, the morning sun now. Worship the sun, item number 16. Hey, Skip, how's it going? Item number 16, worship the sun. It's a, it's a matted photograph again. Uh, $40 each or two for $50. Uh, yes, 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 Todd. Um, so if you want, if you, if you want the the fifty dollar price, just tell me that you that item thirteen and fourteen sold or whatever the whatever, whatever they are, and those two are yours. So yes, absolutely. Oh, let me let me make that clear. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear on that. I don't. I'm not selling two of the same images. It's two different images. So let, let me say that again, if if that was not clear, and I, I apologize. Um, it's, it's, so there, there are, uh, I think 20 of these and it's, 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 you know, if you want like one and six or something, not, don't, don't I don't have two ones. So it'd be like one and six or eight and 10 or something like that. Okay. So thank you for the question. I, I, I apologize if I wasn't clear about that. Okay. Item number 15, worship the sun. Item number 16, Distant Lotus. And, okay, Todd, thank you. 13 and 14 sold. Appreciate it. Um, item number 16, um, Distant Lotus. And this one, you know, the, the flower is, is, is just more distant. It's farther away, so you get to see more of the leaves. And these, these guys are in these, these big ponds, and they, and they bloom, like, peak bloom is, like, middle of July. And the, you know, as far as you can see, just these, lo you know, these lotuses, really pretty. And there's a, a lotus festival normally, you know, before COVID. So we, there was not one this year. And actually the um, Kenilworth Aquatic Gardens was closed during, in July. So, you know, they was, they, all that beauty was went, went un, 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 I can't say unconsumed, unenjoyed. We missed it. We missed it. So hopefully, again, um, we'll be there in the, in the upcoming year to see the Lotus of Aqu uh, Kenilworth Aquatic Garden. Item number 17. Uh, this is, this is um, I, I took this at a little town called Eagle Harbor in extreme southern tip of Prince George's County. Uh, my family is one of five black families that bought a farm and in that eventually became, they, they eventually chartered that, that farm, subdivided, chartered, and it's now the town of Eagle Harbor. And um, we still have a family house there and I have a house house there. And I, I steal away there. It's, it's, it's not far away at all, but it's like you're in a different world when you get down there on the water. And, you know, I'll go down there just to like take a nap on a Saturday. It's been a while since I've done that. It's like, I need to get back to that. Um, but it's on the Patux that's the Patuxent River, and on the area where we go to swim, we call it the Point. And that was a, a, a bright, cold February afternoon when I took that picture. Eagle Harbor at the Point.
item number 17. Item number 18 is a Sago Palm Frond that I took at the U.S. Botanical Gardens also. Um, and the cool thing about this is, the again, the natural backlighting and the droplets of water on, on the curled um, frond, I don't know what you call those, tendrils? But you can see little, the, you know, little crystal, like almost like little crystals on, on the leaf. It's kind of cool. Item number 18, Sago Palm Frond. And this is the, like the center of the plant, um, the same plant. With, but you get those cool colors and textures with the, the light in the background again. Item number 19. Um, and again, uh, $40 each or two different ones for $50. Um, item number 20. Um, <laughs> this is a, the full title of this one is the Purple Flower from Mars. And it's actually a, um, oh darn, darn it, I almost, I, ah, I almost said it. Um, Darn, I'll think of it in a minute. But I, I took this picture in, in uh, Battery Park in Manhattan. Um, aster. It's an aster. It's a Stokes aster. That's what it is. Um, but it's, it's, it is otherworldly. But it's just, it's just a wildflower in a wildflower garden in Battery Park. But it, you know, the color and that like luminous center is like really, really captivating. Stokes aster. Purple Flower from Mars, item number 20. Item number 21, um, this is, as you've all probably recognized, is the Martin Luther King Memorial um, here in Washington, D.C. at the Tidal Basin. And you'll, you'll also recognize snow, right? So it's, it's snowing again. But I bet you don't know what's, what the what kind of trees those snow the snow is sitting on? Oh, you might figure out because there's a lot of DC people on here. Those are the cherry blossom trees, and it's, and I took that picture in March 2018. We had a freak um, spring snowstorm, and while well, the cherry blossoms were budding, and the, it, and it snowed. Uh, so again, these are. Um, you know, snow insulates the the blossom, so even though they got snowed on, the snow didn't hurt them. Ice ice would actually ice would actually hurt hurt them, um, but but snow snow doesn't. So um, item number twenty one, MLK Memorial with the cherry blossoms under the snow. Uh, okay. Okay, um, here's another cherry blossom time shot um, across the tidal basin with the U.S. Mon I'm sorry, the Washington Monument in 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 the 20 and 21. I, uh, okay, thank you, Skip. Got it. 2021 soul. Um, uh, so this, and I took this picture like, with photography. Lighting is everything. I, I keep mention, mentioning lighting. Um, this is another up at dawn taking picture shot um, where you get the, you know, you can, you can just, you can just see like the early, early, the rays of the sun uh, touching the, the um, cherry blossom buds as the light, uh, the sky starts to lighten off in the distance. So that's, that's a cool shot. Um, item number 22, monument and the tidal basin. Item number 23, the Jefferson Memorial. Um, and you can tell that this was a, also an early morning shot in a, in a different season though, in, in the summertime, by the, the shadows on the front, on the columns on the front. Um, but uh, that's, a, that's a, a cool shot. Okay, Donna, thanks, 21 and 22. Got it. 
Um, okay. Um, right. So item number 23, Jefferson Memorial. And I, so if you haven't figured out, I, I, I went through everything I had and I pulled out all of the, uh, the, the DC monument pictures I had. Um, and I, I didn't have that many left. Um, in case people had like out of town relatives and they wanted a piece of Washington to, to, to share with them. So here's another, you know, pre-dawn picture of the Jefferson um, from a, a different angle across the, the tidal basin. That's item number 24, Jefferson Memorial. Okay, enough of that. No, we're back in the, in the plants. Um, this is a heliconia, which is often mistaken for ginger or a bird of paradise because of the, the bright leaves. Um, but the, the flower is actually like the green thing like in the, in the middle and not the red thing. The, the red, the red part of the plant is actually the leaves, um, but it's, it's very pretty. And this one is another one I took at the U.S. Botanical Gardens, and I, I, you know, I like it there because you know you can go any time of year and, and find flowering, blooming plants, um, and the light there is so cool um, because of the you know the glass roof. So it's a great place, and I haven't been since COVID. Um, but I guess you can get tickets and, and go in on a time basis now. But I, I haven't tried it. But I'm going. I haven't. You know, I've been. I have. We haven't been traveling or anything. So it's it's getting it's getting nuts. So I'm like dying to get out and with my camera again. I've got a lot of pictures of birds and squirrels in the backyard, though. <laughs> um, item number twenty-five: white lily. And speaking of my backyard, um, I, I grow these too. So, and I, I have a, a few of these in, in this in this collection. Uh, white lily, item number twenty six, um, forty dollars or two for fifty. Um, here's another white lily um, from the garden, and the. You know, these, these, some of these can, you know, if, if I water them or if we get enough water, you know, they'll grow five feet tall too. And, uh, and you know, with the flower heads, they'll get several, several blooms out of them. And they perfume the air. You can be 10, 12, 15 feet away, depending on the wind, and you can smell these things. It's, and it's, very, it's just, it's heavenly, heavenly. I, I mean, I, I've actually smelled some of them before I noticed that they were in bloom. They're, they're, they're just that fragrant. Um, item number 20, Zimbabwe orange flower. And I took this picture when we, after, just after we toured the, uh, Victoria Falls and we're walking back towards the hotel and, and these guys were just growing along the path. Just really pretty. And the, the texture is like very, it's so shiny. It look, almost look like they're, they're made out of wax or something and not real. It's cool. I'm number 29, Black Eyed Susans. And these are not from my backyard. They are, in fact, from my front yard. Black Eyed Susans are the uh, state flower of Maryland, another wildflower. And um, I've, I've, always, I've always loved them. So I was like really happy when I, I got some growing in my, my backyard. And actually, if anybody needs some, I could probably give you some in the spring because they, they, um, they, they spread pretty, pretty well. But I love them. Uh, forty dollars or two for two different pictures for fifty. Um, cone flowers, also known as echinacea, uh, and they have a lot of health benefits for I think that people make tea with them and such. Um, and they're they're a cool color too, a like cool color to cool texture. And I took this picture in uh, Manhattan and Battery Park as well. Cone flowers. So if you if you have a wild flower theme going on, there's there are a few to, to choose from from that set, and that is my last um, matted 
um, photograph. So we're going to go on to the holiday card. I decided to go to a different room for the holiday cards. I like I like this tree. <laughs> so um, I showed you these before, and un unlike the other sets, these are a s ten different cards in this ten card set, and they they also sell for twenty five dollars for for the ten, and um, that includes delivery. So I have a, to give you a better view of them, I've created a little something for you. Okay, so um, the item number for the holiday cards is 99. Item number 99 for the holiday cards. Um, so that is the end of what I was going to present. I try to keep these under an hour because I, I know everybody's spending a lot of time in front, in, front, in front of their computers. So I really appreciate the time you spend with me, um, but I, I, I want to be respectful of your time. Uh, but if you have any questions, comments, if you need to see something again, please put it in the comments and I'll, I'll rewind because we're, we're, you know, we're under an hour now. So I'm, I'm looking at the comments again. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, please do uh, at FirstBroDC. Uh, my uh, personal Facebook page is, is pretty full, but I have a Marvin Basel Photography face, uh, Facebook page as well, um, so please follow me there. Um, on Twitter, at Marv Bowser, uh, and my website is uh, marvinbowser.photography. And there's a, a button on that site that will take you to um, my, my special like holiday gifts site that has the, the, the cards listed, the holiday cards. It has also wall art, like frame pieces listed there. Um, and it's it, it's really tailored, so it's like really easy. The the main site, um, you know, it, it has basically my online portfolio with, I don't know how many pictures, you know, a couple thousand pictures on it. Um, and I can turn any of those pictures into um, a frame piece, you know, cards or whatever. So if, if there's some image of mine that you like, let me know and let me know what 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 you what's how you'd like it, and I'll do that for you. Um, and I'm I'm trying to get all my my holiday orders done by Saturday, so it'd be great to hear from you like pretty soon, so I can get it out the door and to you in time for the big holiday. I appreciate it. Um, so. Let's see. One more look at the at the questions. Well, I, again, I really pre appreciate the likes and the hearts and all that. So thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, good. So I think I think I think we're done. I think we're done, folks. So again, so so please follow me. Um, and the, the YouTube thing is particularly, um, I know you have that crazy link. Oh, but I put the link to the YouTube in the comments for this call so it's easier to do. Um, and you can't get like a uh, YouTube channel Marvin Bowser until you have 100 subscribers, and I'm a few under that right now. So, so help a brother out. Um, it'd be appreciated. Um, so happy, happy holidays. Stay safe. Stay warm. Um, take care of yourself, which which in turn takes care of the people around you. 
and that's so, so, so important now. So thanks again, and hope to see you soon. Take care.